What's up everybody? My name is Thomas with World Animal Foundation. Today we're going to be talking about the Halo 3 collar, specifically after one entire year of usage. Now I've had the Halo 3 and the Halo 2 Plus for quite some time now. Not going to be talking about the Halo 2 Plus today. Really just focused on the Halo 3. I'm going to do an overview of it, break everything down, um, do the pros and cons, take it out on a field test, the whole nine yards, you name it. I'm going to cover it just to see how effective this collar remains after an entire year of use. So with that being said, let's dive in. For those of you unfamiliar with the Halo 3 collar, it is essentially a high-tech GPS smart collar that does location tracking, um, containment system using in customizable invisible fences, um, it does activity tracking as well as if you're interested in the uh, more of the health aspects of your dogs. Um, now we're talking real-time GPS tracking, um, customizable safe zones, and one of the biggest things that the Halo 3 collar has going for it, especially when you combine it with the app, is its built-in training system, which is almost entirely visual in the form of video content. So if you're a visual learner, the Halo 3 collar may really stand out for you. Now, one of the biggest separating features or, or features that separates the Halo 3 collar from other smart collars on the market is the Halo Beacon, this little guy right here. Now, what the Halo Beacon does, and it's powered by a little uh, watch battery, those little um, dime-shaped batteries I'm sure you're familiar with. Uh, what this does is two things. It either deactivates the collar once the collar enters its sphere of influence, or it serves as a keep-away zone, essentially. There are four different types of these that Halo sells. Uh, some of them are designed for outdoor use, waterproof and all that good stuff. And you can set them outside if you want to try to keep your dog out of a, an entryway to your garden or um, the entryway to your shed or something like that. Or you can use it inside your house to keep your dog out of specific rooms or from getting up on the furniture, things of that nature. You can also attach it to your uh, leash and that way, whenever you put your leash on your dog to take them for a walk, it automatically deactivates the collar and you can go outside your invisible barrier without the collar issuing a correction to your dog. So it's got those two uses for it. And when you combine that with all the uses the collar provides, you get a pretty versatile system. After about a year of daily use, the collar will show signs of minimal wear and tear. But of course you got this Velcro sleeve, which is very thick and sturdy and strong, and you can always run it through the washing machine every now and then because it will get dirty. It's comfortable for my dog and it hasn't caused any irritation over the long run. Boundary training is an essential tool to teach your dog the limits of your virtual fences. And consistency and positive reinforcement are key. You want to start with a small area for the first few sessions. Walk your dog along the virtual boundary while offering treats and positive feedback when he turns a certain way. And gradually increase that area as your dog becomes familiar with the boundaries. Remember, patience and consistency make this process smoother. And you don't even necessarily need to have the boundaries up when you're teaching your dog the boundaries because the dog is learning based on you at this point and will learn not to cross those boundaries based on your training. And if they do, they'll get hit with a correction from the collar. All right, we're out here with the Halo 3 collar in a wooded environment, decent tree canopy up there. Also a heavy cloud cover today. I may get rained on while I'm out here. I've marked my uh, inside and outside of the border, the visible fence I created. So I'm gonna walk towards it and see how the collar reacts. All right, I've reached the inside border. There we go. Got my first response here at the outside border. You can hear it and the vibration. Let's walk a little fat further past the outside border here. There we go, I got my second warning. Now, see where my discs are laid out? So I'm outside of the border. I'm pressing the power button on this thing to make it stop. So it's a little off, but here in the woods, I expect the 
halo to be a little bit off. It's not at its best when there's a lot of tree cover or cloud cover outside. As we move back into the border, picking up my discs here, it should settle on down. There we go, silence, blessed silence. All right, we're out here under a wide open sky. So this time we're gonna test the collar without any tree obstructions. We're pretty much away from everything. And as you can see on the screenshot, the uh, fence border is lined up with this road that curves out here. So all I'm gonna do is just walk right towards that road because the inner boundary is inside this little dirt pathway out of here. So it shouldn't take much. There it goes. That's my first warning. There's my second. Now, as you can see, the Halo 3 functions a lot more smoothly when you're not in the woods and you don't have any surrounding obstructions that are uh, interrupting the signal. Now, in terms of pros and cons, I will say that the GPS tracking on the Halo is generally been pretty reliable for me. I will also say that it's probably one of the most durable collars I've ever had. Um, it comes with an extra thick Velcro lining on top of its hard rubber um, and plastic build. It's very, very durable. You can just about run the thing over and it's going to keep functioning. It's also waterproof. Um, and like I said, it's generally been reliable unless you kind of get up into a heavy tree canopy um, and things of that nature. It may be off by a little bit or it may take a little bit longer outside of that invisible fence barrier to go off. But um, overall, it's been pretty reliable. I also like the activity tracking on it. I think that's a pretty good con or a pretty good pro. Um, as far as cons are concerned, like I said, that GPS accuracy can sometimes diminish a little bit, especially if you get up under a, a heavy tree canopy or if you live in a dense urban environment. And also the collar is a little, it has a higher price point than a lot of the other smart collars on the market with the exception of the invisible fence and spot on. Um, the tractive systems and all of them tend to be a lot cheaper. It is a $569 to $599 collar overall. So that's definitely a con for some people, which is completely understandable. My personal insights with this collar are, are well, I'll just say there are, there are a couple of things. Um, number one, it's one of the best collars you can get if you live in a wide open area. You don't have any dense tree coverage. You don't have a lot of buildings around you, uh, farmland, rural areas, things of that nature where you got a lot of open sky. I think is what's best for this thing. I also think the Halo really exceeds some of the other collars in terms of teaching you how to train your dog with a collar. If you follow all the video guidelines on the Halo about training your dog on the, on the boundaries and uh, come back when the collar goes off and things of that nature, it takes some time and it takes some patience, you know, depending on the dog. But uh, if you do those things, you'll find that you, are, you hardly ever have to actually use the collar's capabilities because the dog will learn on its own not to go past certain areas. In that way, it basically turns the collar into a backup plan. And um, Halo has some of the best video guidelines and visual training aids out of all of the smart collars out there. I think, to me personally, that's one of the biggest positives about this collar. The Halo collar is currently selling for $569. It's a $30 bump. However, you can knock another $25 off of that with our exclusive discount code found in the description. That knocks it down to $544, and that's the lowest price you're gonna find on a brand new Halo 3 collar today. There are other Halo collars out there, the Halo 2 Plus and the Halo 2s that you can, that you can purchase at, um, as refurbished collars but they're nowhere near the capability of the Halo 3. So the Halo 3 is definitely the one you want to look at. It's definitely the one you want to check out. Now accessing our discount code is relatively simple. All you need to do is scroll to the bottom of the screen after this video and click on the link and it will take you directly to the Halo website. All you have to do from there is pick out the color you want, the uh, Halo 3 itself, obviously. Um, it comes with a few color options. Check out your size and place it in your car. Now at checkout, the discount code automatically applies. So if it doesn't, try to go back and redo it again because it shouldn't be an issue. There's nothing extra that you need to click. 
So once the discount applies, go ahead and click purchase and you're on your way. The Halo collar will be in the mail. Now remember, this is a limited time offer. We don't have these discount codes very often and Halo very rarely discounts their collar. So you definitely want to act today on that if you want one of the best GPS smart collars on the market today. And I can attest to that, I own two of them. So if you want one of these things, you want to get it for the best price possible right now, then definitely take advantage of that discount code. So that about wraps it up folks. The Halo 3 collar overall I think uh, offers pretty good performance. It's very reliable, it's rugged, very durable, it's going to last a long time. Um, if you're looking for a collar like that, I think that this uh, should definitely be a strong contender in your um, choice list, whatever you're looking at at the time. Um, if you're a little more budget conscious or you need perfect GPS accuracy, Maybe a good idea to check out some of the other smart callers on the market like the Spot On, which I happen to think is one of the most uh, accurate GPS callers I've ever had my hands on. Um, but other than that, I appreciate everybody watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as always. Definitely leave some comments, questions, concerns. Always try to jump on there and answer them to the best of my ability. With all that being said, thanks again for watching. Have a fantastic day.